For the first time since 1994, two ranked teams are playing each other inside of Wallace Wade Stadium. The Duke football revival, the national spotlight with college game day coming this weekend. WREL's Luis Fernandez shows us where all of this stands in Duke football history. There's not a whole lot of precedence for what Duke football is doing this season. But don't take my word for it. Just listen to journalist Jim Sumner. I've seen my share of football games here. Watching since the 60s, an alum covering the beat since the 90s, he hasn't seen much like the early success under head coach Mike Elko. I mean, you may have to go back to Wallace Way in, in, in the 1930s to find the exact an example of a Duke coach coming out in and, and just establishing a dominant program. So let's go in the way back machine and see just how all of this compares. There's the days of Wallace Wade. He was in charge through the 30s and most of the 40s sans the years of World War II. The Iron Dukes in 1938 didn't allow a single point all season before falling to Southern California in the Rose Bowl. Another Rose Bowl appearance in 1942. This one held in Durham because of wartime laws preventing large gatherings on the West Coast. Eddie Cameron and Bill Murray followed suit with wins in the Sugar Bowl, Orange Bowl, and Cotton Bowl. In 1987, enter head ball coach Steve Spurrier. In his final season at Duke, the Blue Devils finished 8-4, and four, winning a piece of the ACC championship with a regular season win over UNC. And if we can come close in football to doing what they do in basketball, we'll be a very successful football team. David Cutcliffe brings modern success. In 2013, the Blue Devils win 10 games and a coastal title. Now fast forward to Mike Elko. We had a ton of confidence in what Duke football could be. That's why I took the job. I did not take the job with the hope and expectation that we could be a middle-of-the-road program. History isn't on their mind this weekend. I'm not really, we're not really focused on that. Like, it's not really a time to sit down and rest for me to actually think about that. We're just starting to scratch the surface of what we're capable of being, and now's the time. Now's the time to get on board and get behind this team. Luis Fernandez, WRL Sports, Durham.